Now, before I look at anybody else's boat names, it's only fair that I go for my own up for criticism. Now, most people don't name their lasers, but I found that you name it for your daughter helps family harmony just a little bit. Now, I named this boat about 30 years ago. I don't know if I picked the same name today, but if you're familiar with the Odyssey, you'll know what it means. somebody that did name their dinghy. I suppose they had a certain movie in mind. That's great! No, it's not that great. Why? I shrunk the kids. What? Ah, the flying wasp. This sailor is obviously a fan of Caddyshack. I christen thee the flying wasp. Now, once upon a time, not all powerboats were ugly. This beauty here happens to have a really interesting name. Louisa reminds me of that great old flick, The African Queen. Is it? Yes, it's the Louisa, and she's coming right toward us. She must be doing a good 12 knots. The kids come up with some great names for their opties. This kid probably chose to name this one for his mom. Unfortunately, she told him to clean his room one too many times. And this one, Crankalutes? What? Uh, Ruthless. I guess Ruth must have fallen overboard. Somebody needs to tell this guy. That name is just asking for trouble. What is it they say about horsepower making up for something else? I think this guy's Freudian slip is showing. Oh, come on now. You'll never see a sailboat named for a feminine hygiene product. Now here's a name that bridges the gap. It took me a second, but I realized this is something the powerboaters and sailors both have in common. Yeah, the lawn does tend to compete for time on the water. <laughs> 